Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to go over how to uh, install a Mishimoto radiator. So, um, didn't record it when I was installing it, but I just kind of want to go over some key points. So, pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to take all this front um, coolers off. So, the AC condenser comes off. You got four bolts right here. Those come off. You remove that, you remove your uh, intercooler brackets right here to hold it down, and then uh, remove off your uh, couplers from each side. And uh, once you have that removed, you pull the intercooler off. And then uh, behind the intercooler, you're gonna have your transmission cooler that also that has two bolts on, on the top parts, and then it just slides in on the bottom on the radiator. And then there's a power steering cooler all the way down there. I don't know if you can see it, but let's go underneath. And then there's your power steering cooler that also um, just has two bolts on each side holding it. And then that comes off. And then um, you have two, um, two bolts holding in the radiator one right here one on the other side um, and then you're gonna want to take this uh, member off right here so you have two I believe these were 15s on each side and you can leave the latch on there you just move it over here and just set it to the side um, and then uh, remove your hose clamps and just push these uh, shrouds kind of out of the way there's also uh, bolts that hold in the shroud on each side so take those out and uh, once those are out you you can push the shroud forward and remove all the hoses the top and bottom hose over here and then uh, lift the radiator out stick the new one in and then just kind of reverse it smack everything back in throw your bar on over the top and then reassemble it um, wasn't too hard I just made sure uh, when I replaced the radiator that I just got new ho new hoses. My hoses weren't bad, but thought while I was already there, I might as well just do that. And then uh, on top of having the radiator, I, uh, I also have a uh, 190 degree um, thermostat in here from Mishimoto as well. And uh, they've been working great. My temperatures don't even get close to 200. Um, if I'm really, really getting on it, they'll get to about 200 and then the thermostat opens up and we'll go right back down um, so definitely worth the money and also uh, you definitely you get a lifetime warranty with this thing so if anything happens um, you just let them know and you get a new one so I definitely like the radiator um, my next step is I want to buy the, I got a little leak on my transmission cooler, so I want to get a new uh, Mishimoto transmission cooler there and auxiliary cooler. I already have one. I already have an auxiliary cooler here, but all the fins are all bent up, so I want to get a Mishimoto auxiliary trans cooler as well. So those two, and then uh, one day get the full uh, Mishimoto uh, intercooler as well. But uh, yeah, so that's just that's. Uh, how you uh, replace that radiator um, didn't take me very long I want to say it took me about an hour maybe an hour and a half with you know stopping and taking breaks and stuff so that's that's about it thanks and uh, like and subscribe thank you